I call this shape the drop knee twist. So it can be applied to having safe flexibility in the hips and knees for drop knees, but also just for all of the wacky shapes that we put our bodies into when we're climbing. We're often moving in all planes of motion at different angles when we're climbing. So we wanna make sure that we're mobile throughout that full range of motion so that we're not putting unnecessary strain onto our knee joints and instead we can mobilize our hips so that our knees stay safe throughout those motions. So with a lot of postures and a lot of climbing, we're often externally rotating our hips so that the knees are turning to the side, whether we're perching or heel hooking, the knee is often turning out. So we also want to have good end range of motion in the opposite way, where the thigh is internally rotating and the hip is internally rotating. So we'll be doing this one laying down, but basically it's kind of like a little mermaid stance where both knees are about 90 degrees and your heel will be stacking on top of your kneecap. So both knees will be one to one side and you'll be stretching the front side of your hip, maybe feeling a little bit through the outer hip and maybe the glute as well. And then we'll add on a stretch. So very similar to when you're doing a drop knee technique then climbing, you're also gonna be reaching with that same motion. So recreating that in this stretch on your back. It'll look like this. So take the arms out of the way and just let the knees fall side to side. Okay, so your feet are really wide, about a foot and a half or two feet apart. And then let both knees fall to one side. Okay, so in this way, both knees are falling to my left. I'm gonna stack my left heel on top of my right knee. Okay, both knees are still falling to the left. My right hip is gonna peel off the floor and that's okay, but just be heavy through the midsection, through the hips, like you're trying to get that back down, but it won't. So keep everything the same, but if you want more sensation, wiggle everything as one unit out to the side. So forming more of a straight line between my right shoulder and my right kneecap, rather than having that knee pointing way out to the side. So everything is still heavy, just dropping to the floor, and then you add on your reaching motion, right arm. So the same arm, straight line between my right fingertips and my right kneecap. You can either just rest and relax here or actively reach through your fingertips and maybe feel more of a stretch on the side body, the side waist, maybe a little bit underneath the shoulder. So if this one is too much, just release the, the stacking of the ankle and just have your knees wide and tip to the side, okay, without any stacking of the ankle. Same shape, you'll still feel the stretch. For more sensation, you're stacking that heel and even more, again, you're shifting everything as one unit to form more of a straight line, okay? So about five rounds of breath on each side and just making sure that we're breathing deeply. So we can't literally breathe into our hips here, but anytime that we're breathing deeply, we're allowing our bodies to soften into the shape. So focus on your breath, just stay still, and enjoy the pose. All right, hello, my name's Alex. I'm Aubrey. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, sticking it through with us. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want more updates on future training, climbing training progression videos. You can always find 15 minutes to do something that's really therapeutic, really helpful to help your climbing through a simple progression of postures. So that's what we try to create. Absolutely. High five. Yeah.